So this past week on Sunday when we started practice, that was my first day back, like not having the club on anymore. So we just made a little um, plastic piece to cover where my bone was at and we just taped it up. And so they gave me movement so I could start snapping and everything. What did you actually break it? Uh, it I actually broke it the week of Georgia um, leading up to it. it. It just got hit on the helmet and it just broke. Very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone's helmet came and hit it on my side right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it was it was pretty disappointing because I knew that like I was gonna get a chance to go out there and try to, like prove myself. But you know, everything happens for a reason, and I just took it like that and just work my way back and try to get here. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really expecting it because, I mean, it was just the day of and I didn't know what to think. And I was just like, I guess this is my time to go. And it all happens for a reason. And I knew I was ready because I've prepared. I just prepare like I'm going to have to go out there and play. And so that's, that's what I had to do, step up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it has its benefits to it because I wasn't having to think about it all week and worry about it. But so I just had to take take that day and go do what I had to do. Well, I thought I thought it was going to be a little worse, but it had it wasn't too bad because I still had all my fingers, the range of motion, the grip, the ball. So it it wasn't too bad, honestly. How do you feel like you did overall? I know there was the one bad one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm was, I was pleased with my performance. I thought I did good. Obviously, then the snap didn't go that way, and there was a couple of plays here and there that I was disappointed with. But overall, I think I did, I did good. Yeah, yeah, of course. Hey, that's all they preach is next play. You can't sit there and worry about all the bad plays because then it's just gonna mess up the next play. So yeah, everyone's just encouraging and just saying not to worry about it, and that's just what I had to do. I mean, they're good players. They get after it. They're they're a really good team, and they play they play well together. And so we just have to come prepare for them because they're trying to beat us, and we're going to try to beat them. Have you ever seen? Have you ever played a game where they just bring so many people up? To, you know, it's like it's always a bunch at the line. It's like it's never yeah. like Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, kind of the same thing with Syracuse. I mean, they it's just different, and they bring people, and you're just not expecting some of them. So. We'll be. We'll just have to get ready for that, and we'll game plan this week for them. Oh, it's great having Jordan here because he showed me the way. Like a lot of times, because he came from the same program, we've done a lot of the same things. I mean, we grew up together playing little league together too, so. Having him there by my side and let me know what's going on and stuff is just a really big help. Even transitioning right from high school when I was younger in college, he showed me like what what I needed to do to be able to make it here. I mean, everyone. I mean, ever since I've been here, everyone's kind of been on it. So you just gotta keep eating and try to do your best to put it on and put it on the right way and stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, I mean, I don't even know. Some days it's more, some days it's less, but it's just you got to keep eating whenever you have time and in between classes, even picking up a snack here and there just to try to keep the weight on and put more on. Yeah, I always take snacks here because we have snacks in the nutrition room and everything. I always like will take snacks with me in my book bag and stuff and eat it whenever I have ch time in between classes or after practice and stuff. I mean, we have, any, I don't even know, so much stuff. It's a bunch of crack, peanut butter crackers. It's the main thing, Uncrustables. That's basically the main things I eat. So. What about Bob Corses' uh, move to center? How did you help, how the guys help him, and how did he you know, take to a new spot? 
Yeah, we just really over the summer because we knew that was going to be a, like a really big possibility that we, he was going to move there. So we just always stayed after workouts and stuff, and we would snap basically every day after workouts, and we would just work on stuff together because in the day it's the team. Like we just wanted the team, what's best for the team. So we all worked really hard with him and everyone together. We all help each other out the, as best we can. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I was gonna come as a preferred walk on, but before I got here, they had put me on scholarship. But yeah, the initial was for me to be a walk on here. So I would say when I knew that like I could I could actually play here was probably my sophomore year. But I knew I still had a bunch of stuff to get better at. But I knew I had the capability of doing that. So that was probably when. Yeah, it's with when I had the club on, it was it was difficult. That's why like we were really hesitant for me to even go in and play. But yeah, it was hard because I really I feel like my best part of my game is my hands because I'm good at getting them inside. So it's it was just hard because this hand was just falling out and I just had to hold it hold on with this hand. So. I just tried my best in practice and did what I could, but it was pretty difficult. <laughs> yeah, and it just, yeah, it's hard to grip. You can't grip with it, so it's just like you're just putting it on them, and it's it's kind of useful, kind of not, but I, I just tried to do my best with it. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was kind of weird at first. I was like, finally had my hands free. I could move my fingers and stuff out there, and it just, it was lower at first, but it was really quick to get back to normal. Yeah, I'm sure it probably won't be the whole year, but it'll probably come off eventually. I think we just have we keep getting X-rays like once a week, so we'll just see when it's like fully healed and whenever the doctor says like I'll probably come off relatively soon. I think. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that. I was like, I don't know if this is going to be better for me when I get out of it or not. But I think at the end of the day, yeah, it, it just took it, so I don't take my hands for granted because when you don't have one, it really sucks trying to play with with it. So yeah, I think it it made me a little better. Yeah, I definitely do. I mean, the the amount of work we put in and just seeing it, like watching the film, like it's just like like my play. Like I had that one bad snap, and we had a good drive going, and so it kind of just killed it. And it's like uh, it's how it is, like a lot of the times. But I feel like we're so close to finally being able to just like get back to what we're used to, and we're all working really hard to to get us back to that point. And we just have to put the little pieces together. It's just the little things that we have to do to finally spring us forward. I think. Yeah, I mean, it's all communication, really. It's communication and just having the right technique to pick that up because if you don't, if you don't keep your shoulder square, it just gives them, those guys a short edge. And if, if someone's on the same page to be able to pick it up, it just it gives, the, gives them that advantage. So, yeah, really communication on point. I think we've gotten a lot better with it, but we're still, we're still all working on it and trying to get better at it. Questions on Zoom for Mason? All right, that'll wrap up Mason. Thank you.